Let's just say it like that. PHP is terrible. Between all of the programming languages that have ever existed, few of them are as hated as PHP is. This programming language is hated by the coding community while still having a loyal user base. But why is PHP hated by the community? And is it actually as hated as the internet makes it look like? You'll find out in this video, where I'll also bring my PHP programmer friend who will tell us his opinion on the language and how he thinks the language is actually overhated and pretty good. PHP was created to be a general purpose scripting language made for web development. It was originally created by Danish-Canadian programmer Ramses Lerdorf in 1993 and released in 1995. It handles the back end of websites and is generally used to handle form data, manage databases, and create custom content for websites. Programming languages are supposed to offer a vast number of possibilities. Syntax, algorithm, that's what makes the beauty of it. When learning Python, you can easily make any program you want. That is not the case with PHP. It's often criticized for its ease of use and lack of opportunities. Anyone can code in PHP, and many inexperienced developers pick up the programming language and start writing functional but problematic code, which is difficult to understand and really messy, without forgetting the lack of security in the web apps that result from that. I mean, PHP is a programming language like any other. You can make anything you want with it, but the difference is how you can solve problems in those languages. PHP was originally designed with a focus on web development, and its primary use case is evident in its architecture. While it is possible to create command line programs in PHP, it wasn't the language's intended purpose. Additionally, early versions of PHP were known for their somewhat makeshift nature. Ramses Lerdorf initially conceived PHP as a template language for his web pages, which influenced its early development. I can go on Reddit and write that I want to learn PHP, and most of the answers will be to go for another programming language and get a greater return for your time. They are not wrong, since its reputation has taken over and people tend to recommend more modern and suitable languages, just like Python to beginners. So why waste your time learning that language? Well, to see that, let's analyze a snippet of PHP code together. We're first going to start by installing the language, and here is a sample code that will run. This is a simple login page made with PHP, and as you can see, the code is hard to read. This could maybe come from me not knowing the language enough, but the language is well known for its lack of strict structure and conventions, which results in inconsistent and difficult to maintain code. Auditing and maintenance become really hard. Well, I mean, just imagine coming back from a week of vacation and taking a look at that. This has definitely contributed to the negative outlook on the language and its bad reputation. If you've been watching this long and have enjoyed the video, consider interacting with the video in some way. It helps with the algorithm. Now, anyone can understand that if a programming language has high demand in the market and will make you good money, I'm not going to waste your time. It doesn't. Most companies aren't looking for PHP developers anymore, resulting in videos like PHP will make you poor by Fireship, where he says that HTML programmers make more money than PHP programmers. And we can definitely all agree that HTML is a programming language, right? Well, PHP can't be so bad, right? Well, no. The language has its ups and is made for a wider community, explaining its simplicity. Now, my friend will tell us about his experience with PHP and why it's not actually as bad as people make it out to be. I started using PHP in school. It was pretty difficult to write complex code for our dynamic websites. Because of the syntax, our code became very unreadable. But then a few years later, I stumbled upon Laravel, a powerful but simple framework utilizing PHP to create web applications. Laravel convinced me that PHP isn't bad at all. I also did some scripting and I learned a lot from it. There are plenty of libraries to build whatever you want in an efficient and secure way. If you want to learn PHP to keep up with the industry, no problem. But nowadays, JavaScript and Java are at the lead. JavaScript can be used for anything, including strong backends, which can perform very well. Well, conclusion of the video, don't learn PHP.